Dope, I guess. It sounds epic. Multiplayer, single player. I should probably play the tutorial. Let's start with that. Basic tutorial, yeah. Oh, this is like a top-down strategy game. Oh, crap. I don't know if I'm gonna be good at this. I, I like some top-down strategy games, but the ones I like are fairly simple. A lot of these are like super complicated for no reason. Where like your troops are fighting because half your troops are racist and they don't like the darker color one. And it's like, come on, bro. Why do you have to add all these details? Sus? Sex? What? Bro? Sus? Among Us? Sex? That means Among Us 2.0 and Sex 2.0 are coming out this year, guys. Confirmed by whatever this game's called. See, look at all these different, like, little menu options. Like, you'd really expect a new player to sit here and learn all this? If, unless they're, like, already into tabletop games or have been playing this game a long time. You're not gonna get any new players like this, especially with a tutorial that's not very clear and concise of what you're doing. Europa... Uh, Europe... Eh? Europa... Europa uni Universalid Universalis? Oh my goodness, how do you even pronounce the title? Let's find out what it is. I don't know. Europa Universalis. Europa Universalis. Apparently that's what it is. I don't fucking know. Alright, so this is a top-down strategy game, if you didn't realize that from the trailers. Except it's massive because there's a bunch of tiny little territories. They all have their own different troops and buildings and stuff that you can build inside each of those territories. And then they have a whole bunch of terms and buttons and so much more stuff to keep track of. And a lot of the terms are very similar to one of each other. Like they have willpower strategy and willpower building and all that sort of stuff that's like right next to each other. And it's so close to being the same term. And so it's very confusing. Now, keep in mind, this is not me being monkey smooth brain about this. I have an IQ of 135. The tutorial just sucks. Like, it's not clear, concise of what you're supposed to do or anything like that. So unless you already play a bunch of tabletops like this, or have played every other game inside this series, you're not going to know what you're doing. And it's just way too much to keep track of, way too confusing to learn, and it's just stupid, dumb, and it's a terrible game. Do not play it. These games intrigue me more and more. How? <laughs> it's just, I like strategy games. I don't mind, like, the whole concept. I just, most of these games are so badly executed that I'm not interested in playing at all. Like, a map this grand scale, like, it's a cool idea, but having to control and, like, think about all of these different, you know, territories. Look at all these different ones. And then all of these have different troops, and I build boats and all. Like, that's just way too much to keep track of. Way too much. This is insane. And I haven't even unlocked all the territories, unless this is the entire map and you don't unlock anymore. I imagine this is just a map just for the tutorial, and then outside of the tutorial you probably get the whole world with this many territories. What's the difference between the two? So there's diplomatic power and diplomatic... Oh, I'm so done. I am so done. This is going to be the fastest review ever. I'm so done with this game already. Terrible game. Garbage game. <laughs> I'm completely in 100% bias, but... 